is our August read on the producer price index. We're expecting a number on headline up six tenths. It's up seven tenths. And do remember, the high for this metric was up 1.2. That was in January. If you strip out the all-important food and energy, it's up six tenths. And that's down from up 1%, which was the high watermark for history last month. And if you look at the X food and energy and trade up three tenths half of what we expected, one third of the rear view mirror, and the rear view mirror was up nine tenths. The historic high was in January up one percent. Now let's take a look at year over year numbers. These are always interesting. Final demand year over year up eight point three percent, up eight point three. That is a new high for this series. The old high was last month up seven point eight. If you strip out food and energy, so core year over year, it's up six point seven. Another all-time historic high in the rearview mirror, 6.2 was the previous high. And finally, if we take X food, energy, and trade year over year, it's up 6.3%. Also blows history away. The previous month at 6.1 was the high. Now remember, the highs I'm referring to in all three of those year over year, which are historic, only go back about a decade plus because we recalibrated how we calculate the producer price index. So that is the asterisk there. If you look at yields, they're hovering right around 132 and tens, unchanged for the week, uh, up just a smidge for the day. But do remember the most important part most uh, technicians are paying attention to is where the markets have stopped, right around 1.37 to 1.39, still represents very strong yield resistance. And Becky, if we look at what's going on with regard to post-ECB meeting, uh, definitely the hawkish expectations were not met. Uh, kicking the can down the road, I've heard you use a lot of metaphors, you and Joe, this morning, and I think we could add a few more to that list. Back to you. Hey, hey Rick, just the, the producer prices, really strong numbers, strong inflation that this is indicating, maybe not a huge surprise, and maybe that's why we're not seeing much of a reaction in the markets. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the markets are prepared for inflation to remain sticky. They're also prepared not to necessarily take huge positions out, meaning short the market looking for higher rates because the Fed seems to mullify many of those uh, nervous uh, expectations uh, people have, investors have. And ultimately, it is a game of chicken when, when to put on the position timing-wise and how to handicap exactly how sticky inflation will be.